So what is up pimps, hoes and buffaloes, it's your boy and I'm back at you today with some more gameplay commentary. And this gameplay was a pretty nice one I got a couple of nights ago when I hopped onto the PS3 for a while. And it was using the Scar Rail Silenced and it was on a map resistance which used to be one of my favourite maps on the game. Recently I just don't seem to be having a lot of fun with it but I had a pretty good system that I was going in this game. And hopefully if you guys watch this gameplay closely you will be able to implement some of the strategies I use. And I don't want to speak about the gameplay for too long. But I'll give you a brief overview of what I was doing for most of this video that you will see. This obviously isn't as long as a domination was. I don't think I've ever seen a domination four minutes long. But I've just cut out the Moab bit for you guys because it was pretty quick. It was like three minutes, maybe just under, maybe just over. I'm not too sure of the exact figure. If any of you want to count, please do it. But it wasn't the quickest Moab you'll see on YouTube these days. But um, yeah, it was pretty nice nevertheless. And you pretty much just see me running up these A stairs, coming back down to C, trying to defend it as much as I possibly can. Because we all know, these days, defending a flag, and in the past as well, defending a flag is just as important as going all out and capping one. And that leads me into my topic of discussion today. And please feel free to comment in any of the comment sections below, well, in the comment section below, if you agree or disagree with anything I say in this. And that is basically, I'm going to be talking about teammates. And I'm not going to be moaning about teammates, well I am, sort of, but I'm going to be speaking about playing ground war in small parties, because as you guys know, I am a TDM player, and if I'm not playing TDM, I will probably be playing ground war. And recently, me and Chopper and a couple of others, we've decided to split off up from the big parties, and we're now playing ground war in a smaller team. And as much as I don't want to say this, I'm having a lot more fun playing ground war in a smaller party than I have been before. That's not because I don't like the people I play with, by all means I love all of you guys, but it's because it's so much less hassle. And what I mean by that is you don't have the problem of assist after assist, and as well as that, when you're playing in a nine-man team, you're pretty much guaranteed to always have at least three or four members raging. And, you know, I spoke about this before, but I'm one of the worst when it comes to raging. If I'm having a bad game, the whole fucking world knows I'm having a bad game. Seriously, the windows open. Neighbours come out into the garden and say, like, shut the hell up, buffalo. Well, they're not really, but I can, I can imagine what they're thinking. I rage like a, oh, like a raging buffalo would in the wild. But, um, yeah, it's so much less hassle because you actually get to hear yourself think when you're playing in a small party. And I think that is what is benefiting me at the moment. When I actually do get a chance to get on an MW3 on the PS3 and beast on some pimpy hoes, it's a lot easier now I'm playing in a smaller party. And I'm sure people agree with this. When you're playing in a bigger party, it is a lot easier to lock down a spawn. It's easier to spawn trap. And we all know we all love spawn trapping. But you always get that one guy who's going to run in. So it, that makes a rage as well. Like, even if I don't die, if I see someone running the spawn, I know it's going to affect the entire game. And it's going to it's going to affect the entire structure of the map in terms of where the enemies are positioned. And where you've got to position yourself. And resistance really probably isn't the map to discuss that the map to talk about spawn trapping is interchange we always try to get a spawn trap on a when I'm playing in a bigger party with my friends and that works really really well until one person just urges and verges into the spawn a little tiny bit and the whole thing flips and the thing you need to do there the whole of your team needs to restructure their positions to get the guys that come back from C and that is something we all know and that is something that is really frustrating and when you're playing in a small lobby you're not spawn trapping and there's a lot more kills to go around. It just seems to be a lot less hassle. But yeah, that's one thing I just wanted to preach in this video, guys. Not very long. I hope you did enjoy that Moab. And yeah, I just wanted to say, play in a smaller party if you don't want to get into loads of hassle and loads of shit. Because you will enjoy. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave now. I've got some six aside football to be attending to. It's been your boy, The Herder of Buffalo. And if you did like this video, please don't hesitate to leave it a like and get involved in the comments section. But as for now, it's been your boy. And I'm out. Peace.